Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended family. Just thank you for support. Um, I know. It's not easy being who you are, but you're trying to make the best of it. And you're pushing out positivity and you're trying to stay strong through the midst of the chaos, which, you know, I'm truly proud of you for. We, we need to be able to give ourselves a pat on the back because that takes a lot, especially with us gravitating towards every energy that comes towards our way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your hidden impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend or even a fellow empath that truly needs to hear it right now through their darkest times, please go ahead and share it. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. And like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. Um, the meditation music I'm listening to is by Love Motives, you know, meditation music. Um, and it's called Mind Ascension, Open Your Mind to Infinite Possibilities, Quantum Healing Meditation Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, it's always quiet before the storm. You know, we're, we're getting we're getting ready. I know a lot of y'all are uh, feeling that something's on its way because it is. You know, we don't know what it is. You know, a lot of us are kind of timid about it. A lot of us are excited about it. You know, some people got mixed emotions. Me, I'm just like, you know what? If it's meant for us to go through, is it meant for us to go through? But I don't think it's like something like, you know, um, revelations or something like that where the world's going to end. But it's something we truly need right now. It's just like love and vibration. We're, we're seeing so many people like I heard in New Zealand. I think that's what it was. I didn't really watch the news. I told y'all I don't watch the news. Um, about these people getting attacked. Um, it, it's just so many things conjuring up. Like, if you notice this, there's certain, like, um, forest fires and stuff like that. Volcanoes erupting when you know, different levels is just popping off. There's just so many things back to back that, you know, it's telling us something's coming. There's a lot of things that people are doing in secret that are starting to come out in the light. It is just so many different things that's going on with the government. I mean, it's just really crazy. And it's like, we're trying to prepare ourselves. You know, they, they got us releasing and reflecting, letting go of things because throughout whatever is coming, they need us to be pure. It needs to be striped pure from what they keep telling me. We need to be pure and wipe away from all the things that has hurt us because we chose the, the people that we chose to be around before this this time ago around. Anyway, we chose everybody that we were going to come in contact with. But what it just seems like people are coming towards me left and right that trying to find out, you know, is there more people like me? What is this called that I am? I know I'm an empath. You know, you're probably just now finding out you're an empath or there's people that knew they were empaths, but they knew they're far more different than certain empaths, you know, and it's just a blessing. We all can be able to connect in that way. You know, there's a lot of uh, comments that's been dropping like Rosalind, you know, I, I was looking up things and then I came up on your video and it's really put me at peace. I mean, that's a true blessing. That really is a true blessing. Um, and just going through all those things, being able to know you're not the only one going through this. Um, you know, there's something on its way, but it is just like, it's making us prepare ourselves We're going through so much hell. They got us reflecting and letting go of so many things and knowing that you're, you're going through this trauma for a good reason. It's not, it's for a very positive impact in your life. You needed to go through this to experience it, to get where you need to get. They need you to have strength in places that you really didn't have strength in it before. You're letting go of things that, you know, that has really pushed you in, in a in a dark place. And there's some people that just is trying to resist. And it's like the more they resist, the harder the situation is going to be. You know, that's why I said, oh, thank God I'm just looking at things where I need to think, you know, 
and there's, you know, and I had to pray for other people that are going through that. I'm just like, will you come on? <laughs> They're doing this for a reason, but stop being stuck in this negative state. You know, we've, we, uh, we sit up here and resist certain things that we really don't need. To, we just really need to just let go of, because it's just like things keep conjuring up that, you know, I thought I let go of. Because, I mean, I've told y'all this before. You know, you can let go of something and next thing you know, something else new will come up. You're like, God, dog, I know I forgot all about this. I'm like, why are you reminding me of that? They needed you to be, when they need you, you get it flushed out. That's just like you get an oil change on your car. And I knew I knew I was about to do something because I haven't seen this light flash in I don't, I don't know how long. But it's just like when you're going through certain situations and, you know, you like with your car, your car needs to have you know, be recycled through all the gunk and all that stuff when you go in for a tune-up, you're going in for a oil change, getting your tires rotated, all this stuff. You know pretty soon your car is going to wear and tear. So it's collecting all these things that needs to, you know, it can run for so good, but if you want it to run better, you have to be able to flush all these things out. You need to get your, you need to do upkeep. And that's how it is on our lives that, that we needed to take this tune-up. We need to get that oil change because there's a lot of things we have went through traumatizing or really just make you want to put walls up or probably even gave you mental illnesses that you didn't even know you had which is a very sad situation but is that's when it's time for you to be able to recognize the things for what they are knowing that you truly needed to go through this at that time and know that it's not there to hurt you but it's here to educate you and you know for you to see what lessons did you get out of all these situations whether it was good or whether it was bad and it's just like with us being activated, like I said, I'm getting visions of seeing y'all like in a, you know, like in a worshiping stance. And it's like this big volcano. And it's like not like end of the world volcano, but I guess it's just like everything that, you know, has built up and it's like this, you know, spewing out that needs to be let go of. Or I see a lot of them, like I've seen on, um, like Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom, you see it, see, <laughs> there goes the light again. Um like when a lot of the them are laying down uh like i don't know if they're like mummies that are being awakened you know for that whatever is coming and they're just all sitting up at one time like in unison like it's like a domino effect or they all are getting up at the same time so that's the things that we're going through in life we know that there's something coming you know there's a lot of y'all have expressed that to me like rosalyn i don't know i feel something's coming i feel like something's happening you get, might get a burst of excitement. You know, you might get a little laughter. Um, I know I have. I don't know about y'all, but I know it's just like when I think about my dad and I, I feel something coming, I just get really excited. And he's like, what's wrong? I said, I don't know, but there's something coming. I don't know what it is. But, you know, it, it, it's just I love that feeling I'm getting because I know it's something good that we truly all need in life. I mean, we all need love. Um, it's just too many craziness going out here. It's like you can't go to the movie theater where I have to worry about getting shot. You can't go to church without worrying about somebody going to shoot you. Or can't go to the mall because there's people acting crazy. And it's just like, you know, they need to filter all these people out. And it's a sad thing that they're, you know, people are getting taken out of our lives left and right, left and right, left and right. But it's like they did their part on their, you know, on their journey. And whether it's, it's a sad situation. You know, we lose love, loved ones, best friends, and stuff like that throughout years. You know, that's a really tragic thing to do. But it's like they they knew their part. Even though they might not have known, but they know. You know, they, they know they had to do their part, even though it could have been something senseless. But they, you know, when it's time to go, it's time to go. They, they did the things they had to do, but there's also people that are here. They still had their job to do as well because they, you know, the people that are left, they have their job to do somewhere else. You know, and they're... You know, a different shape, form, or matter. But all of us are going through certain situations because they need us up and alert, pure, purest as pure you can possibly get to. So it's just like knowing you, you know, you're like, oh Lord, this is the reason why I'm going through it. That's the reason why we having a lot of these uh, moon, full moons that we have to go through. There's a reason why you're going through spiritual awakenings at the time you're going through. There's a reason why you had to go through hell for the last two or three years to make you know that whatever's coming, you got to be strong for that. You have to be able to prepare yourself for whatever's coming. And it's not, I don't really feel like it's something bad, but I really feel like it's something very powerful that we all have manifested in our life that we truly need to have right now. So, you know, they're asking you to stay woke. There's a lot of people around you that's 
they're just now starting to wake up or people are refusing to they're resisting and the ones that are resisting they're going through they're going to go through worse hell than you've been through just because the fact is they're resisting something that they need to wake up for so be prepared keep on on signs whatever you need to let go of let go of whatever you need to heal from heal from the parts of your you you know that you're weak on you you know and try to enhance that into your life because everything's being showed to you for a reason things are being reflected to you for a reason because they need you to educate yourself you need to learn you need to heal you need to let go you need to go for it too don't be scared about things you can't see which we do that we fear what we don't understand but they need you to not fear this so if you're feeling this way and you know they got you heading towards something you know drop me a line i would love to know if you know you relate to what i'm talking about so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video much love to y'all and i hope you have a blessed safe weekend um you know you were truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing i am, and plus other people are praying for better days and like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love a chance to hear from you so i can go ahead and give you a, a post notification shout out um and you know Hit that notification bell so you know what I'm about to upload. My uh, shout out goes to today. Uh, let me see. Raiku. Uh, Von. By Felt. I think I pronounced that right. Empath. Uh, Combattle. Cavalier. I don't know, caliber, <laughs> crazy living. I hope that I sat up here and pronounced it right. I mean, uh, caliber ink. And Ollie, Ollie P uh, underscore one, and Lauren three three seven six. Much love to you, many blessings. Now I'll see you on my next video. I love y'all so much, and much love, peace, be wild.